Ambassador, Governors, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International Wine Challenge Awards London. I trust you'll have a great evening. It is a fantastic award. This award will be very useful, not just for us, for everybody communicating wine. It drinks sleep. If our list has an accolade, um, some sort of like the IWC, a restaurant wine list of the year, then all the better. We've got lots going on and still growing really quite nicely. Hatch Mansfield. We would encourage producers to look sensitively at the environment all the time. We've been there since mailing orders and telephone orders and now our customers are moving into the online world so we're really pleased to be right at the forefront of all of that. Labour 2 Wines. We're trying to give them the best possible service that they can and hope that they don't have any headaches with the wine, they can just put it on the list and it sells and that wine becomes a more important part of their business. And this year it's been going for 10 years already in Hungary and we are very honoured that we could bring the success of it over here to the UK. Paul Garten and Novum Wines. It's, it's great to win and it's great for the team. Not for the first time is Liberty Wines. We've got to give people a reason to drink good wines um, and I think that part of that is education and selling what, what's different about wine. And the winner is Dunnells. To win uh, the small independent is something that's incredible. It's uh, sort of 30 years of work it's just an ongoing process, basically. Very broad and rude. It's really exciting to have won this. We've had a lot of change. It's down to all the people in the business. The winner is Vagabond. How can we make this more interesting and relevant and exciting to the rest of us out there? We're unbelievably authentic. We're not for profit. All of the profits go back into the business and the wine, and that just makes us a little bit special. Co-op. Do you know what? We are absolutely over the moon. Fourth year, consecutive year, so we're absolutely delighted. Thank you so much. Waitrose and partners! Oh, we're absolutely delighted to win Supermarket of the Year again. It's been it's been a little while, but we've worked so hard this year. And to get the Merchant of the Year as well, as well is just absolutely incredible. We couldn't be more pleased. Kikuma Samune, Shiboida de Gimpak. Yeah, this the winner is Winning any sort of award for dessert wine is great, and I think it's testament to having a long term relationship with a well established winery, so we're thrilled. And the winner is Verb Monsigny Champagne Rose. To win Best Valley Sparkling is incredible and really super proud. Curry Bay Sauvignon Blanc 2018. It's huge actually. This was the first wine that we ever got listed with Waitrose back in 2010. <laughs> We're so delighted. Here we go. Whoa! Yay, yeah, Papa Figs to produce a wine easy to drink, to drink every day, but with great quality. The winner is Waitrose Paolo Cortado Teledoro. We have a good selection of customers who like sherry, so we have to do the best we can for, for their tastes, and I, I think we do a pretty good job. We're absolutely thrilled to bits to win this award again. It's what we gauge ourselves on, so we're, we're really pleased. Co-op, fair trade, organic Malbec. It means everything, because we're the biggest retailer of fair trade out there. So, yeah, we're going forward with it. And the winner is... Tinuta di Capacciana, Vinzanto Reserva 2011. Oh, it's, it's very important. We are so proud. It's really like, a, I'm so proud she's here with me tonight. Justino's Madeira Tarantas, 1978. For us, it's a must to be here in the International Wine Challenge. Et je suis très fier de ce trophée. Et c'est un hommage à, à la maison, aux équipes, aux, aux propriétaires. Voilà, je suis très fier de ce trophée. It's really important for us to win this prize. It's a really big pleasure to be here and I'm really overwhelmed. I started in this industry in, uh, in the UK 35 years ago and it was a long battle, but now, finally, as the best red wine. Tio Pepe Cuatro, Palma Santo Nivado. It's a orgullo and un honor to win this premio. Long life to the Cherry Revolution. Fantastic. Cheers. Hans Chida from Weingut Angerhof Chida. It's a very big pleasure and honor for us uh, to win this award. Sergio Martinez from Emilio Lustau. With the team of Lustau, everything is possible. 
what an achievement. The fourth time we've won it, it's outstanding, it's just phenomenal. Dylan Lee and Kim Milne, and Domini from Bird in Hand. We're certainly delighted to win such a prestigious award on, on a global stage, and I think that's a real credit to our entire winery team. We're really wrapped. Cyril Brun from Charles Heidzig. It means a lot since uh, I'm just there five years after Thierry and we all miss Thierry a lot and it's something very special for me today. Cordonio Raventos Legaris Alcubia de Avellanada 2015. As you said, the first production, first year of the, a new wine for us, he, that it was a, a challenge so we are so proud, it's amazing. The Len Evans Award goes to Maison Albert Bichot. Bichot uh, tried to make the, the best wine, the best expression of the vintage and only the style of Bichot is to express the terroir in the vintage. He was one of the very best in the world. Gérard Basset, winner of the 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award.